And as we say goodbye to 2019 and roll into the 2020, many of us will be celebrating tonight. Jamie Angel has more on why you should party responsibly. Whether you're heading to a house party or perhaps going to a bar restaurant to watch the ball drop, there's a good chance alcohol may be involved, something that concerns local law enforcement officers during the holidays. When you're going out, it's not that we don't want you to celebrate. We want you to celebrate, have a good time tonight, but be smart, be safe, don't drink. Last New Year's Eve in Louisiana, 74 people were injured and two were killed in drunk driving crashes. I think the most frustrating thing about all drunk driving related fatalities is they're 100% preventable. If you do decide to drink and drive this New Year's Eve, well this could end up being your ride and it won't be taking you home. There's zero tolerance, not just in this state, but across the country. If you will be drinking this New Year's Eve, there are several options available, like calling a friend or family member or using a taxi or ride sharing service. If none of those options are available, just stay put. So if you're getting on the roads tonight, expect to see increased police presence throughout Acadiana. We want to see you alive. We want to see you safe. We definitely don't want you to become the first deadly statistic of 2020. In St. Martinville, Jamie Angel, KETC, TV3.